Mr. President, my worst fears on this bill, the defense authorization bill, has been realized. We've just seen the Republican leadership again resort to this technical maneuver to block progress on this crucial amendment. It'd be one thing for the minority to vote against this bill. They honestly believe that stay the course is the right strategy. They have the right to vote no. But now Republicans are using a filibuster to block us from even voting on the amendment that could bring this war to a responsible end. Um, they're blocking this like they did the Webb Amendment. They're protecting the president rather than protecting our troops. They're denying us an up or down yes or no vote on the most important issue that our country faces. So, Mr. President, I say through you to, to my Democratic and Republican colleagues that we're going to work on this amendment until we get an up or down vote on it. If this means staying in session, we have no votes, of course, tonight. But if it means staying in session all day tomorrow and all day tomorrow night, uh, that's what we're going to have to do. I'll, I'll file cloture tonight sometime so that we can have a Wednesday vote if this continues. I hope that during the next few hours and certainly tomorrow that there will be a, a change of mind and that we can have a vote on this and then move on to the other amendments. That certainly seems that would be appropriate. The American people deserve an open, honest debate on this war. They deserve an up or down vote on this amendment, which we believe will lead to a responsible uh, end to this intractable war in Iraq.